How did the universe begin? Some people say that it came into existence billions of years ago in a massive explosion, but this Big Bang has some big problems. First, the antimatter problem. Whenever scientists convert energy into matter, they get equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Antimatter particles have the same mass but opposite charge. Supposedly, the Big Bang converted energy into equal amounts of matter and antimatter, but the universe shows no sign of this expected antimatter. Second is the horizon problem. The Big Bang model says that the universe started out very small and rapidly expanded. This would leave huge hot and cold spots since even a 13 billion year old universe is still too young for temperatures to level out. But the actual universe shows temperatures remarkably the same in all directions, no hot or cold spots. Mature galaxies pose a third problem. Light from the farthest galaxies we see supposedly took billions of years to get to Earth. So those distant galaxies should still appear undeveloped and chaotic, as they would have after the Big Bang. But distant galaxies look fully mature, not haphazard like the Big Bang predicted. Even the very distant regions of the universe reveal galaxies of magnificent beauty and complexity. In addition to these scientific problems, the Big Bang contradicts the Bible. The Big Bang needs billions of years, but God's Word describes the beginning of the universe happening in just six days only thousands of years ago. The Big Bang teaches that the sun and stars formed before the Earth, but the Bible says the opposite. Not by some problem-riddled explosion, but by the Word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of His mouth.